Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 286. Today we have uh, the other half of the 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 1 case. Uh, the first half we did random team trio, and again we're doing the second half the exact same, so um, this will be the second half of that case. And yeah, uh, just I don't know if I showed the box numbers some, most of the time, I try and show them, but just to make sure that they're the same, I'll just show them. And also, just in case there's any like weird little card damage or something like that it helps track what the box is from so we have why does it say focus here but the minute i like move my hand i don't know man sometimes cameras folks seem to be weird pull in push out it just doesn't like this for some reason. Anyways, it's um uh, 40273 and this is uh 26171. And on this side we have like it should focus on this, but um four zero eight seven four uh zero eight four seven zero and Two six seven three eight. I will double check them as we open them up, but those are the box numbers that we got. So, um, yeah, let's get on the way. Three times on the names, three times on the team trios. Again, you get a random set of three teams. Well, one is four just because there are, um, there were 32 teams. So, all right, here we go. Let's switch on over to the team random screen here. It's so again three times on the names, three times on the teams. So who you line up with is who you get. What? Twice. Third time. And teams three times. Again, these teams are fairly balanced. Um, the teams that like generally get the least amount of cards hit the highest end card. So found that it worked pretty well. So here we go. Three times. Once. Twice. And third time, Sabres on top, and the Habs on the bottom. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. All right. Emil, you have Buffalo, Vegas, Edmonton, LA, uh, Philadelphia, Washington, Ottawa, Tampa Bay, and Calgary. Pierre, you've got the Panthers, Penguins, and Yotes. Dave with the Rangers, Blackhawks, and Hurricanes. A meal with the Predators, Red Wings, Leafs, and Blue Jackets. That is a four, uh, four spotter. Um, Graham, you've got the Bruins, the Wild, and the uh, Blues. Dave, you got the Ducks, Sharks, and Jets. Dan with the Abs, Devils, and Stars. And a meal with the Habs, Canucks, and Islanders. There are your teams. I'll get them into the team viewer shortly. Is not pulling them properly. Apparently. Should be pulling them from the six six. Okay. Give me a couple minutes on the team viewer because it's Doing something weird. This is this is pulling from there. And this should be pulling from three here. Ah, I pasted it one over. That's why I uh Weird. Okay. That was that would make more sense. That would make more sense. Okay. 
Always a little thing sometimes. All right. We'll leave this pulled through properly. Dave has the ducks, the jets, and the Go. Ducks, Jets, Sharks, and Rangers, Chicago, Carolina, Rangers, Chicago, Carolina, Dan has FBRS, Florida, Pittsburgh, Arizona, Arizona, Florida, Pittsburgh, Graham with Boston, Minnesota, Boston, Minnesota, St. Louis, and Dan with Colorado, New Jersey, and Dallas, Colorado, Dallas, and New Jersey, perfect, Davis. all good. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Took a little bit longer than normal, but uh, yeah, I think uh, everyone's going to be, I mean, because this is happening on Tuesday, um, just a little bit of a it build and we break it type of situation. Um, so again, if anyone wonders like what happens to breaks that don't fill on time, essentially stay up once they fill, we break them. It's the earliest possible time. Uh, this filled yesterday at, um, I forget what time it filled around here. Probably like is afternoon at least and so uh, i just need a little bit more prep time um, to get everything ready for the break and wouldn't have been able to get it done at a half decent time yesterday so that's why we're doing it today try to get it done as soon as possible so here we go uh, this is the 40273 on the box All right. Box one. Get so cozy in here with these lights on. Especially when it's already hot out, like the temperature in this room just like skyrockets. I wish there was like a way to like passively cool them rather than or like actively cool them rather than passively cool them because then the heat would dissipate like differently. I will say after opening up a lot of series two, it is so nice that they fix the packs back to what they were. Uh like the old, the easier rip, because these are just more annoying a little bit they open more consistently but they're tougher to open up i guess is what i'm trying to get at Alright, here we go. Box one of the half case. Let's get it started with a cure set for the Panthers on the Young Guns. Uh, Zach Jones for the Rangers. Again, soft edges, but nothing like insanely horrible. Uh, Chikrin on the Dazzlers for the Yotes. Preps for Vegas on the debut dates. Canvas coming up. Uh, Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. Uh, Chuck for the Senators. Pinto for the Senators. Uh, Baron on the Young and Sons for a front trade. We just had four in the first half. Yep. Baron for the Rangers. French variation of colon for the Canucks. There we go. 
I can say it's weird having five young guns in the uh, first few boxes. Or first few packs, first half of the box. One of them had to be a variation. Resolve on the electromagnetic for the wild. Then for the stars. Marner for the Leafs. And that is half one done. Half two. Not bad. A French. Jones is decent. Poland's not the worst French to get. Like, there is some promise. Here we go. Second half. A few big trades happening over the past little bit. We had the uh, Matt Murray trade to Toronto, which is interesting. I think Matt Murray is probably a, a more upside bet, uh, probably for the Penguins, than Jack Campbell, especially at the contracts, and especially because the Leafs are able to bring assets in. Laugh for the Rangers on the rookie retrospective. So, like, I think that's good from that perspective. Brown for the Kings on the canvas black. Davies for the Predators. Um, but, like, they're retaining the assets that they got for it. Brookshine for the Blue Jackets. Weren't really what I was expecting. Um, McDavid for the Oilers on the portraits. I was expecting them to get more, especially considering there's a pick swap for Murray between Buffalo with the same retention and this year for the Devils, and the swap from like 7 to 16 is worth more than the 3rd and 7th box for the Rangers. Lining for the Blue Jackets. It's a really weird trade. So, Akin for the Bruins. Hamilton for the Hurricanes. Hashtag for the Bruins. Like, it's, it's a risky bet for Dubas, and ultimately could be one that Makes or breaks his career as a GM. I don't think it's the worst bet, especially considering the market and what goalies are going to be going for. I mean, you've got yourself at two years for um, at 4.68. So uh, 41228 on the box numbers. So like not the worst cap hit. Um, you know, they'll probably have a tandem and It'll cost around that same typical six, seven million for the tandem, which is like kind of good for the league. And a couple players that are like rumored are like Eric Comrie. So, but, and I think Matt Murray has better potential. And I think he played better than Jack Campbell last year. And I was not a big fan of Matt Murray's game, um, especially a couple of years ago in Ottawa. But sometimes things just don't work out. This one's like stickered to the walls, by the way. You got a sticker here, sticker there. And a sticker here. So, I think it's a, it's an interesting bet. I I myself would have usually liked to get more retention or more assets in taking on the contract because it was very clear Ottawa wanted to get rid of it. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. So, and Ottawa obviously flipped Gustafson for. Talbot, which again, another interesting trade. I think Talbot's probably the better goalie right now between the two, but 
the difference is probably minimal. And like I think for the most part there are very few goalies that like actually make a difference on a like that you can actually expect a consistent year to year like benefit from. I think there's like five, ten of those max in the NHL. Like you've got um Shesterkin, Sorokin, Demko, probably Vasilevsky, probably UC Saros. Um, who else? We do have an exclusive coming up, by the way. I mean, you can maybe put Markstrom in there, but I'm not sold on that either. Markstrom, you've got to keep his workload pretty low. I think Ottinger, you might be able to. But again, he's not proven yet, but I think you'll probably be able to throw him in that camp. So, like. And then I think everyone else, you know, you, you just. If you get the one that goes hot that year, you're happy. I think this does mean the Wild are probably going to be running like a Walt that Flurry duo, which will be interesting. I actually really like Walt said, so. Mantha for the Capitals. Rantanen for the Avs. O'Reilly for the Blues. Varlamov for the Islanders. Uh, Bryson for the Sabres. Soft Edge. Middleton for the Avs. Again, same thing, kind of the Soft Edge. Limbaugh. For the Flyers, just got bought out today. 200 on the exclusives. Malkit, where will he sign for the Penguins? Because it sounds like things soured pretty quickly there. Joe Valeno for the Red Wings. Jack Hughes for the Devils. Oglander for the Canucks on the rookie retrospective. Yeah, reading through like the tea leaves kind of, uh Hoglander for the Knox on the debut dates. With the Malkin situation, it sounds like he um essentially he wasn't prioritized in Pittsburgh. Um like kind of you know, second class player that they need to find. And like I think he took and rightfully took offense to it. Um here's a guy who's played his entire career with one team and Probably, arguably, left a little bit of money on the table in his last deal. Um, and also a player who, like, again, your team loves, your players love, will help you win, and, like, your window is, like, now. Um, so it feels like it was very half-hearted. Then you had the, you know, the one report, which clearly came from management, which, oh, yeah, like, they offered a four-year contract to him. Or like it was discussed type of thing. And then you had the other one where it's like it was never discussed. It was barely like conceptualized. And just reading between the lines, it sounds like Pittsburgh doesn't like they want they wouldn't mind if he came back at a really cheap deal, but like they don't care if he comes back at like closer to market rate. So that is an intriguing one to watch. Because he could circle back there, but and again, the, the leaks that were out, again, one of the most important things to pay attention to around for both free agency and like trade deadlines and stuff is who is saying it and who you think it's coming from. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that, you know, the one that said that they offered, you know, four years to him and like made every reasonable attempt to sign him came from management because it just makes sense that that's the side that they came from. Ooh, Zach Jones on the clear cut young gun for the Rangers. Nice. Uh that's a that's a good one. I like Zach Jones. So well, definitely faded though on the uh printing. It's very uh not like 21 22 series two. Yeah, I think reading like just reading between it, it sounds very uh Bryson for the Sabres on the canvas young guns. Sounds very unfortunate. Walk up for the Lightnings. And and I, you know, you hate seeing that for a player that played his entire career. Matthews for the Leafs. 
Like, he again, he played his entire career for one team. Kalia for the Kings. I mean, like, I don't know how many people are aware of, like, Malkin. Speaking of Malkin for the Penguins. Uh, coming over here, essentially, like, had to smuggle himself, Vasilevsky, for the Lightning. And, like, really wild story that didn't really know about. Lost him for the Sabres. So, like, he put himself at quite a bit of a risk for the franchise. And, like, did a lot of good things for it. Stutzla for the Senators. So, like... I get why he's frustrated by it. Caulfield for the Habs on the honor roll. Parker Kelly for the Senders on the Young Guns. It's one of those just like, he has every right to be upset. And nice Caulfield for the Habs. He has every right to be upset. And now that it's close, like, you know, why not test the market? And I think I don't even think it's going to be purely about money at this point. I think it's going to be about finding a team fit, like finding a team that like the ownership and management group wants him there. And like, I think a lot of people can tend to overlook that part. So it'll be interesting. All right, good start. French Young Gun Caulfield. Uh, Zach Jones on the clear cut. Uh, this is box number. I don't know why it's blowing out sometimes. Two six one seven one. Two six one seven one on the box numbers. There we go, you can kind of see it. There you go, zero one two six one seven. All right, box three, halfway point. Again, solid stuff. Hopefully, we see Zegris. I think we saw Zegris in the first half, so yeah, we saw one of each. I think we saw French young gun. Tomorrow's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see where Kadri goes. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with JT Miller. There's a lot of like RFA. I mean, Dylan Strom's another intriguing name. So, a lot of good like unqualified RFAs, which made some UFAs. So. Or interesting ones. There we go. Turn off with a switch for the Hurricanes on the honor roll. Rookie retrospective gold of Volardi for the Kings. Logan Thompson for Vegas. Be interested to see if he takes the net more often next year. Brian Rust for the Penguins. Vanchek for the Capitals. Byron for the Avs. Vasilevsky for Tampa Bay. McDavid on the Dazzlers for the Oilers. There's a fourth one back there. It sounds like Jack Campbell's going to or Edmonton on like a five year times five million dollar deal. Duncan Keith for Chicago. Um, that's a risky, I'd say a risky bid. Nude for the Oilers. Kirstead for the Panthers. 
and Lushinsky for the Flyers. I'd say that'd be a pretty risky deal. Um, he hasn't really shown that he's worth that. And that kid really wasn't that, like, he was a really good goaltender to the start of the year last year, but like, down the last half, he wasn't that good. So it's one of those just like, hey, get your payday. Like, never get mad at a player for seeking the money, but like, oh boy, Edmonton. Like, that's a long commitment if he's not good. And his, his honestly, his starting sample size isn't that big. So. It'll be in there, Aston. Alright. Get the packs to go here. And in terms of new hockey card products, uh, Black Diamond got bumped back a little bit. Uh, Clear Cut got bumped up. So that'll be interesting. I think we might do that draft style. Depending on how much we get in. Draft or a random hit, but... Here we go. Jack Hughes for the Devils on the Portraits. French variation, Eichel for the Sabres, Miller for the Rangers, Murray for the Senators, here's a good young gun coming up, Swayman for the Bruins, good one there for Boston, Peterson for the Oats, Chuck for the Flames. Canvas Black of Marner and uh, Matthews on the checklist. Put that up there. Uh, student each for the Devils. Ewers for the Jets. Sorokin on the debut dates for the Islanders. And finishing off the box is a Shea Theodore Electromagnetic for the Vegas Golden Knights. Halfway through. I mean, yeah, for three boxes. Popfield, Zach Jones, Clear Cut, Swayman, Colin French. Not bad for Series 1. It's not Series 2, right? Like, just the checklist quality in Series 2 is insane. Um, why did the, see, why did it unfocus there? I wanted it on that foot. It is a 40874. I have missed the box edge a couple of times today now. Oh, that's why the sticker is a little bit messed up. There we go. Four zero eight seven four on the box numbers. Let's see a Seagrass or a dry throw. Let's see a duck in the next two boxes.
only black pack here. We do have a canvas. We haven't had a Zegris canvas in a while. That'd be a nice little pick. That'd be a nice one. Yeah, there's, I think SP Gaming was the other one that got booked back quite a bit, so. But that's fine, so. Ovechkin for the Capitals. Pink Dazzlers of Ajo for the Hurricanes. Baron for the Rangers. Larkin for the Red Wings. Hoaglander for the Canucks. Chuck for the Senators. Svetch for the Hurricanes. Dry Sail for the Ducks on the Dazzlers. Not bad. Not the right duck card we're looking for. Laugh for the Rangers on the debut dates. It is a Zegers canvas. It's been a while since we pulled that. Nice one there for Anaheim. Good little uh, top three so far. Michaelis for the Canucks. And Pinto for the Senators. Good little, uh, good little half. The third cut, some good base young guns. Like above, I'd say above average French, like potential. So. Be nice to see that day with the cut flashbacks. We have not pulled a single one of those. And like we're overdue for it at this point. Here we go. Uh, Tavares for the Leafs. Jersey of Honors League for the Islanders. Hauser for the Sabres. Hayes for the Flyers. Seth Jones for Columbus. Pack then for the Wild. Krug for St. Louis. French of Kublik for Chicago. Sorokin for the Islanders. Tom Tall for the Ducks. Uko Pekka Lukanen for the Sabres, a little bit of a soft edge there. And Sinjik for the Sharks. Two boxes to go here. Two boxes to go here. This is eight four seven zero. Three zeros in front of eight. There we go. Zero zero eight four seven zero.
Oh, we got a Zegers canvas. We've got Caulfield. Um, I mean, a Byfield canvas would be pretty sick as well. That's obviously a lot to ask for. Spencer Knight would be a cool young gun. Spencer Knight. Let's go for him. That's who we want to see. Also take literally any young gun parallel. I don't think we'll get an exclusive because we hit our exclusives are generally one per um, case at this point. So I have seen it not be the case, but the general rule is one per case. And I mean, I lost, I think. Or clear cut exclusives or something. I'd like to see something weird here. I think we did get a clear picks in the first half. Alright. Starting us off, we got a Varlamo for the Islanders on the portraits. Demko for the Canucks on the French. Perron for the Blues on the Electromagnetic. Dumba for the Wild. Ross Colton for the Lightning. Parker for Kelly for the Senators. Uh, Coffield again on the Honorable for the Habs. Ooh, Morgan uh, Riley on the Clear Cut for the Leafs. You on for the capitals? Maybe just doing a back flip. Marie again for the centers. We're getting the same insert run. Uh, Lee for the Islanders. Garland for the Oaks. It is the first half of box five. Now let's see what the second half has. No, it has a Hundo P gold. I see a duck. I see the level one Anaheim shoulder patch. That's a good sign. It's either Zedris or Benoit Drysdale, typically. Because Benoit and Drysdale run together in the same crop. Very, very consistently. Alright, here we go. Box five, second half. Let's see what it's got in store. Marlemont for the Islanders. Undo Peagle of Keith for Chicago. Ben Walk for the Ducks. Nooch for the Oilers. Philandrea for the Stars. Good trail for the Flames. Will he re sign in Calgary? Uh, also for the Senators. Five, six, seven, eight. There's your Jamie Drysdale for the Ducks. A little bit of a soft edge on that one, but. Just soft on the edge. Corners are like, eh. And I've seen a lot worse out of Series 1, so. Robertson for the Stars on the Dazzlers. Norris for the Senators. 
five, six, seven, eight. Healers for the Jets. And McKinnon for the Abs. All right. Time for the final box here. Again, pretty for a half case, like pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I know the first half, like, it was okay. It wasn't great. So like this half with the clear with a good clear cut. Um a good young gun canvas, a caulfield, a like above average French. I'll take it every day of the week. And this box number is two six seven three eight. Got it there. All right, here we go. The final box. Do have a young gun canvas. Could be good. Could be good. We get it. I think we might have got our canvas black in the first half. Our young gun canvas black in the first half. So, oh, we got a clear picks here. Is it a different? It, you know what? I might be thinking about a different six boxes with the clear picks. Either that, or we just got really lucky. Which, I mean, hey, I'll take. But it has to be the right clear pick. All right. Bravo Mall for the Islanders. Spencer Knight on the Dazzlers. Garland for the Yotes. Ooh, Colorado and LA on the canvas checklist. So we have a random, I think, because Colorado is Dan and LA is Emil. Also in for the Senators. Aho for the Hurricanes. Clear picks coming up of Cam York for the Flyers. Not a great one. Has potential, but not a great one. Here's a Benoit for the Ducks. Should mean we have a dry sale. Turf for the Sharks. Norris for the Senators. Still Andrea for the Stars. And there's another dry sale. Same soft edge for the Ducks. All right. Last half to go here. One random to do. Don't think we'll get a second, but. You never know. Could get a, I guess could get like a French variation. So just done that way. That would be clear. Okay. Doing 
actually go here. Living more. Two more. And last one. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Hopefully we get something nice in the tail half here. That's not the worst. Headman for the Lightning. Lannisgog for the Avs. Elon for the Capitals. Ekblad for the Panthers. Theron for the Blues. Lee for the Islanders. I swear we pulled that like Lee for the Islanders a hundred times. Uh, Drassel on the rookie portraits for the Ducks. French Young Guns for the Detroit Red Wings of Joe Valeno. So not horrible. Not bad at all. A little bit of a soft bottom right corner. Um, condition otherwise is okay. So it's a little white dot there. Freeze off for the wild. Manta, capitals. Colton for the lightning. And to finish it off, Parker Kelly. Parker Kelly for the centers. Sure, we pulled him like three times. So, yeah, that uh wraps it up then. I guess we got the one random to do here. But overall, pretty solid six boxes. Two French young guns, clear cut, uh, good young gun canvas, clear picks. Um, yeah. Not much more to say outside of solid, so let me just get the base card filled again and then we will uh, do the random. One second. Just slightly too many cards for this book. Perfect. All right, here we go. Random. Three times abs and kings. So kings and abs because the abs or kings player is on the left. All right, three times. Good luck. Once, twice. Third time, Colorado gets the win there. All right, let's uh, swap back over. Colorado is down. And recap time. Let's do these. All right, so notable base young guns were uh, two dry sale, a swimming, and a Caulfield. Uh, we got a clear picks of Cam York, a uh, young gun canvas checklist of uh, Byfield and Newhook, that one Colorado one in the random. Uh, we have two French young guns, a Colin and a Joe Valeno, so not bad. And then we have a good uh, young gun canvas of Trevor Zegers. And into the break, we're going to go with the clear cut of Zach Jones, because I like Zach Jones as a player. And yeah, so uh, I'm going to try and get this packed up for tomorrow, unless you had a spot with it this week, but um, we'll try and get it out as soon as possible. If it's not going to go out tomorrow, it'll go out next week. Um, but yeah, thanks again, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow for the other breaks. Take care, and yeah, see you then.